Here's a piece of a broken blade. Some some time ago I broke while I was flaking it. I want to play the thinning game with it. Okay, it has sharp edges on it. I need to take the sharpness off and round, thicken and round the edges. So I'm just going to use this deer antler and go around the edges and get it a little thicker because it's too thin. The edge is too thin for me to hit. I'm just thickening it up a little bit like that. And if I do any grinding, it's just just a little bit. Take a deer antler, and I'm going to just barely be holding this piece. And I'm going to lightly hold on to the antler and just throw it at the preform as hard as I can. And, and watch it. See how far I can make flakes run up into there. Look at that. Well, it went at least up to halfway. That's good. Okay. Come over here and get some thickness here. I just bevel down that sharp edge this way. Just throw that antler at it while I'm not squeezing this piece here. my spot I wanted to hit. It's harder to swing little pieces of antler than it is big ones. pressure flake with this big old piece of antler. Okay. There we go. There's a thinning flake in that, that area there. Okay, let's take, this is crooked, so I need to start straightening some of this. Thicken up the edge. Pressure flaking and thickening the edge. And the pressure flakes will do some smoothing on that surface. Okay, let's try to run a big flake this way. In pieces like this, I I use a high velocity swing. Try to get that flake to travel as far as it can. Don't grind too much. Pick a good spot on the antler. Don't squeeze the piece here. That piece just zoomed off of there. Okay, I'm going to come over here and bevel the edge a little bit, round it off. I'm going to hit real hard up in there. Don't squeeze this piece. There. Nice big flake there. We got to get rid of this thick area here. Okay. 
piece don't want to go. Wibble that a little bit. There. Okay, so it's a lot of thickness right here, and I need to go up into here and clean this up as a start rounding this edge off here. up here and go as far as I can with the flake yeah nice hit it high, nice and hard Okay, I've got a ridge right through here going into that area where I want to remove, so I hope that flake runs past the middle. Hit it. I gotta hit it real hard, but I'm still not squeezing this piece. We got it. Went all the way into there. Now we can finish the cleanup from this side. But I got some thickness down here that's bothering me. So, let's try to clean that up. There, that was a good flake. Ran all the way into the middle there, in the corner. We're getting rid of that squared section where the blade had been broken. I do a lot of missing, but then I'll get it. Okay, now it's got a place here where it's kind of thick, and I can round the edge off there. Got to be good on pre preparing the edges when you're getting this precise on your thinning. You've got to swing hard to get these flakes to run. But you don't squeeze this piece. That was good. Still need another one by that one. I'm just trying to make this whole piece as thin as I can get it. I'll worry about what to make out of it after I get done thinning. I'm going to try to make a really big thinning flake, or as big as I can, from this edge here off into here. Oh, all right. That was a double, double flake into there. Went all the way into them over here making nice thinning through that area look how thin we're getting very thin wide and thin okay so I'm percussioning with the antler hitting really hard on this piece and not breaking it in half but actually flaking it. Just lay this piece up here, take a loose grip on the billet, make sure the edge is prepared well, and um, swing fast. Sometimes the edge crushes, you have to rebuild the platform. Try to maintain your width though.
I guess a lot of people would want to do indirect percussion on a piece like this. It's pretty wide. It's very thin, but I'm still pressure uh, percussion flaking. You should get those edges right and then we'll hit it. with a loose grip. Okay, I want to get this. I'm hitting hard, or I'm swinging fast anyway. Hard to be a hundred percent accurate all the time this way. Do the best you can. All right, that was a big hit. Did a good diving thinning flake right there and went up to the middle. Looks like I could maybe do another one from that side and hopefully they'll meet together. Alright, let's see if we can make that one meet up with this one. I have to drive down in there. Swinging fast. Whoa! I did it! <laughs> see how fast I was swinging? Hit that edge and then went over here in the middle and met up with that one on that side and cleaned all that area up. Look how thin this is. And see how fast I was swinging with a deer antler. <clears throat> and this is a little bit of a rush job if I take my time and prepare the edges just a little bit better and you know I probably can get uh, better results but this is great. This piece has no flaws in it and look how thin it is. It's thin. And I was swinging very fast and hard. Or very fast with that. Now all I need to do is some pressure flaking on this piece and we can make some nice wide thin point. It's going to be easy to finish this up with pressure. A little bit of a square edge here but all that can be removed with pressure flaking. Our big thinning job is done so we've played the thinning game on this broken base broken blade base and we've gotten us a preform for some high quality thin smaller point so uh, antler thinning game thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing Scooby Scooby.